my cuckoo clock came and I've just opened the box. Look, 5% off my next purchase from the Cuckoo Palace. Hmm, does that mean I start another collection, I wonder? Okay, a warning to tell you to read the instructions. Well, I have already done my research online, so all should be good. Here's the decoration for the top of the clock. It looks really nice with a great antique satin finish. The pendulum has an adjustable decoration. Push it higher to speed up the clock or lower it to slow it down. Here are the two smallish weights. It has a one day movement, so be prepared to pull on those chains every day. Well, here she is. I wonder if the clock is female. Anyway, this one's got beautiful lines and a great finish. Better than I expected, actually. I can pull this small wire away from the cuckoo's door don't want him trapped inside. Lots of paperwork here, with the instruction manual in many different languages. And look what else! The Cuckoo Palace included a packet of Haribo sweets. Is that how you pronounce it? Haribo, maybe? Hmm. Shame I don't like them much. I guess this lever on the side is to disable the cuckoo and chime? We'll have to check that out later. It really is a very pretty clock. Just remove the door at the back and remove some paper from the gong. No, we don't want a muffled chime, do we? I also removed two of these clips that were holding the bellows closed for transportation. Must remember to keep these. Here you can see the movement, with the two cuckoo whistles and bellows at the top. This sticker proves that the clock was made in the Black Forest. Right, I've got it on the wall now, and I've released the chains that were bundled underneath. They were held on by a small wire. I think it will work out well in that position. Weight and pendulum are fixed, and away she goes, with a nice balanced tick. And now, the moment of truth. Will the cuckoo really appear? The tension is killing me. Wow, it works. This is really an awesome clock. Hmm. I think I want one in Germany as well now. <laughs>